Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to Mass. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, happy second Sunday of, of Lent. Uh, for announcements, um, as, you, as you entered in, there's a lot of stuff happening in the back of church. There's Heart of Gold. Heart of Gold is one month away. It's April 9th, so it's coming up really fast. It's like four weeks from today. Uh, again, Heart of Gold is in support of our school, for Sacred Heart School. So uh, it's basically an evening. There's an auction associated with that and a meal. Um, so we invite you to come to our Heart of Gold fundraiser uh, for our Sacred Heart School. This, in four weeks from now, basically four weeks. Um, you can purchase tickets and looks like raffle tickets in the back as well. Uh, Jean's manning the table back there. Uh, also in the back of church, we do have like a, it's like a model church a little bit. Um, there's a little place to stick in uh, a little donation. Uh, that's our, in support of our sister parish in Haiti. Uh, again, we support a parish in Haiti uh, for their ministry, for their, for their needs. Um, so that's sort of our tri-parish mission between St. Lawrence, St. Joseph's, and Sacred Heart. Uh, it's to raise, funny, to raise uh, money for our sister parish there. Um, so any assistance you can have would be greatly appreciated. Uh, also in the back of church, we do have a sign-up sheet for pictures. Uh, last week in the bulletin, there was an insert for pictures on, on how to sign up for that. So if you'd like your... So, uh, our pictorial directory is coming up really fast, um, so uh, if you could sign up, that would be that'd be great. Again, you get a free eight by twelve picture, and you get a free bulletin just by having your picture taken. Um, so please do sign up. Um, it really does help me out and help our staff out to sort of help uh, figure out who everyone is and uh, update addresses in the back of it. Um, so please do please do sign up. That would be very appreciative. Um, Let's see. Next week, uh, we have our Olive Wood Holy, our Holy Land Olive Wood people come. Uh, so they came about three years ago, um, and they, they sold the wares of the people in, uh, in uh, Israel. Um, so just a reminder that next week, the back of church will have a lot of stuff happening, uh, a lot of extra, extra stuff to, uh, to purchase for, for Olive Wood. Um, Next week uh, is our men's conference, the Archdiocese and Men's Conference. Uh, again, it's a virtual conference this year, but if you would like to join a part of a community uh, at Preston at St. Joseph's, we're hosting a, a virtual site so you can gather with a bunch of other guys. Um, again, that's next Saturday, so it's a week from today. Uh, more information to sign ups in the bulletin, um, but please, please do consider that. Uh, finally, I uh, wanted to mention we do have adoration and evening prayer right here at Sacred Heart uh, tomorrow night um, from 4 to 6. So we'll have adoration and confession happening at the same time from 4 to maybe like 5.40 and then, uh, and then evening prayer at 5.40 from, from there. Thank you for coming today. Let us stand and greet our neighbor.
Christ. And let us gather together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and my sisters, as we gather together today celebrating these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. And for our penitential right today, we'll do the confiteor, which is found on page four. The confiteor found on page four. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
This past week, as you know, found me going home to care for my dad as he's recovering from his knee replacement surgery. It was his left knee. Um, it is more challenging than I thought it would be. Um, of course, my dad has the, the harder part of actually recovering from it. Um, but going back from home for so long and doing all the stuff I did when I was growing up, believe me, it brought back some memories. Looking up early to do the hog chores was not something I imagined I'd be doing again, but it was a fun change of pace, though the smell may take a, may take a couple more weeks to leave my clothes. Um, between caring for the hogs, I had to care for my dad, helping him do his exercises, driving him to physical therapy and appointments, cleaning the house and cooking. It all kept me pretty busy. But there were times when I could relax and sit with my dad and watch TV. One day, uh, we were flipping around the TV stations and uh, we came across a tractor pull. And tr watching tractor pulls is something my dad and I did when we were growing up. So we landed on that and figured we'd just watch that for, uh, for a while. But a little bit in, the image got staticky. It went away. What happened? Of course, the signal was being blocked by the snow and the ice that had accumulated on the dish. So out I put on my coat, I trudged in the snow to restore the sacred signal and save the day. But as I was wiping away the remnants of Mother Nature on the dish, I thought to myself, I know what I'm going to preach about. Um, why, couldn't we, why couldn't we see the signal? Was it because the tractor pull, it wasn't being played or it wasn't being broadcast on the air? The images were distorted and they were fading in and out, so it suggested that it was still on. So, no, the tractor pull was still happening. It was our TV in the dish that was too small or distant or covered to receive the signal. Perhaps that's the most basic question of all our lives. Why is God's presence not clear? Why isn't it more obvious or easier to see and define? Why is our search so mysterious? And the quest to find and hear God, why is it so difficult? It's not about God not being there. We know he's there. We just need some help to find him. But if we rely on our own powers, well, we're like the old antenna in my parents' house, sitting on top there. Um, it might just be too small or too weak or too distant or even pointed the wrong direction, not even connected to the TV anymore. We might not be plugged in. We need help. That's what we call Christ the Savior. He is our help. The, today, the disciples, they go up to a place they would have no problem, no problem receiving a signal from the heavens from. And today they see Jesus transfigured. Why is this transfiguration so important? When God was hard to find, he came to us in a way that we could see and understand. He showed himself, his glory to us, and the transfiguration of the Lord at that moment. We could see with our very eyes a God who is no longer beyond our vision. No one tent or dish needed. God has indeed shown himself. Have we noticed him? Consider again the challenge of this moment. We know the three pillars of Lent are fasting, almsgiving, and prayer. This week, with this gospel in mind, make prayer a priority. Pray not only more fervently and more persistently to the God who loves us, but pray for something in particular. Pray to find God in all things. Pray for God to help us see him. Pray for this Lent for a new antenna, new eyes, new ears, new hearts. Pray that we don't take anything for granted. Pray to seek, to listen, to be open, to wonder. Our inability that day in my dad and I is to see that tractor pull was because we were far from the source. The signal had become faint or blocked. When we feel far from God, and our vision seems weak. 
God comes to us. God gave us his son. This Lent, may we continue to remember this beautiful truth, the God who gave us his son and who continues to give us him through this Eucharist that we're about to receive, he's full of astonishments. We don't have to travel up to a mountain. We just need to clear off anything that is blocking us from hearing and seeing God. Today, for our creed, again, we say we're, um, we're saying the Apostles' Creed, which is uh, found on page 10 of our missiles. Found on page 10. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we journey through this holy season of Lent, let us place our faith and trust in our Lord. For all members of the church during the season of Lent, that they be an example of faithful service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For patient leaders of nations, that they strive again and again for a permanent end to war, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the generous supporters of Catholic Charities who advance the mission to strengthen families, reduce poverty, and empower communities throughout the Archdiocese of Dubuque, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those stuck in the habit of sin, that they return to Christ in this time of conversion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the homebound, that faith in Jesus will ease their suffering and isolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the members listed in our parish book of intentions, and especially for John and Dorothy Feller, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead and all who have died, may they come to join the angels and saints in singing God's praises for all eternity in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers and the needs that each of us holds in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God, our Father, open our eyes and ears to hear and see you in all that you give us. During this Lent, make us Make us aware of your presence in our lives and the lives of all those around us. Grant all of our prayers today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal, Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death, on the holy mountain he manifested to them his glory, to show, even by the testimony of the law and the prophets, that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, if you notice, I forgot to mention one thing on the bulletin board in the back of church. There's, uh, there's little, little bits of, there's sandals, there's a couple sandals already. Um, so what that is, is sort of a pathway to, to, to Jesus on the cross. Uh, so you're welcome. I think there's extra little sandals to write on the sandal. Maybe what you're giving up for Lent. Is that correct, Jean? What you're doing for Lent? Yeah, yeah, what you're doing for Lent. Um, and we can post that on the uh, bulletin board. Um, and while you're back there to visit Jean uh, for uh, Heart of Gold tickets, uh, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever. And keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his, only in his own body to the amazement of his apostles. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify.